This is Average Hammer 21 coming at you with a Madden 19 Lions franchise. Um, this week we are facing the Cowboys. <clears throat> Fresh off 100 yards, brother. Um, yeah, this is after the bye week, I assume, I think. I gotta think about that, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, this is... Where the season starts to get intense. I think we have a decent record. I think we are five and two at this point, or four and two, five and two. I don't remember. I think we only have two losses, if I'm not not mistaken. I think it was the Eagles and somebody else. Um. Anyways, uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm loving this season already. I have been calling, I, I think I said this in the last video, I've been calling Frank Forrest, or Forrest Frank. Yeah, it's been bad. Uh, I think we have carry on back this week, if I'm not mistaken. I played this game about two, or about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I haven't really, I'm just now getting, uh, getting to edit it. Uh, work's been crazy. I have today off because of weather. Um, it's pretty bad where I live right now. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. Second down and seven yards to go on the 28-yard line. Dak hands it off to Zeke. He spins. He gets about four or five. Down to the 33-yard line. Here's my starting, Corey DeSacmack. Ashawn Robinson, Anthony, and then Kennard at linebacker, Reggie Ragland, Jared Davis, big play Slay, our rookie Derek Boyd, Ken Crawley, Glover Quinn. It is third and two from the 33 yard line. Dak in the shotgun. Dak hands it off to Zeke again. He's stuffed. I believe that was Glover Quinn with the stop on that play. Second and 16, I believe, off of a sack. It's uh, on the 25-yard line. Matthew Stafford drops back. He hits Forrest Middleton, who gets about... I don't know how many yards that was. It was a big old chunk. It was about 10. I was going to say 10, but I didn't know if that was 10. Eric Reed on the tackle. Third and seven. Matthew Stafford drops back. He hits C.J. Jones, who cannot hang on to the ball. Hang on to the ball. <laughs> All right, first and 10. Dallas has the ball in the 15-yard line. Dak drops back. He pump fakes. It's a fake screen. Big play Slay. Almost comes up with the interception. He has been playing out of his mind this year. I think this is the only year or the first year for the whole series. Or It's only been two seasons. What am I talking about? I thought he would have a bigger year last year, but he didn't. And he has come out this, this year with a hot start. Dak Prescott drops back. And it's picked off. It went right through his hands. Into Glover Quinn's hands. Pick off Lions. Flex those muscles, Glover. Flex it. <clears throat> Dak on the interception. Matthew Stafford makes an audible. It's a play action pass. He hits a wide open TJ Jones. There's a flag on the play as TJ's taken down at about the three. Oh, roughing the passer. Give me them yards, bro. Ball's going to be placed on the one-yard line now. I'm trying to figure out what play. I was wanting to run, run a run play, and there was, like, no run plays that I wanted. I didn't want a power. I wanted it straight up the middle. So uh, Matthew Stafford makes an audible before he gets to the line. He sees something. Matthew Stafford hands it off. Good block by Ryan Izzo. And carry on Johnson with the touchdown. I don't remember if he came back last week or this week. I have no idea. I think it was this week. I don't remember. 
I think it was this week because last game Forrest had a bunch of carries. And the point is good. Third and 11. Dallas has the ball on the 45 yard line. Dak Prescott drops back. He rolls out a little bit to his right and he hits Alan Hearns on a cross. At about the 39 yard line. Or maybe it was the 37. Anyways, uh, third and 12. Dak Prescott drops back. And he gets sacked. It's a strip sack. Coreem, the sack, Mac, with the strip sack. I don't know. I don't know if that works, Corey, the sack, Mac. It's too close to Khalil. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying it. Carry on Johnson gets the handoff. There's a flag on the play. Oh, a little golf. Illegal block in the back by Ryan Izzo. He seems to do that a lot. <clears throat> oh no, it's like any time I'm in the I formation, I give the ball off to carry on or Forrest. He takes a, he gets a block in the back or a holding. Third and 11, Matthew Stafford. It's a play action pass. Trying to find somebody open. He's flushed out to his right. There's nobody there. And he tries to hit Marvin Jones, but it's a little... Little to his right, couldn't couldn't connect on that play. It's gonna settle for a 34-yard field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Ten nothing. Ball is on the 25. First and ten. Dak Prescott. It's a play-action pass. There's a wide open Young. Tight end, taken down by King Crawley, Derek Boyd on the busted coverage. That was actually my fault, not the CPUs. Uh, accidentally moved Derek, and then I looked down at my phone, and I forgot the play was happening. As the pass is broken up on second and 23 after a holding call, and I think it was a sack, and then they held, and then <laughs> that was that. So it's third and 23 on the 42-yard line, Dak in the empty backfield. So, gives a little shimmy. Big play Slay with the breakup. I'm telling you, he's playing out of his mind. It's been it's been fun to watch him just be all over the field this year. I think he has like five, six picks already. I think it's f five. I think it's five. Matthew Stafford with the play action pass. Second and nine as he gets sacked. I don't know who that is. Is that David Ert and Taco Charlton? Who is that? Oh, I didn't get to see who that was. And like I said, it's been so long, I, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Matthew Stafford drops back, third and 21. He hits a Forrest Middleton out of the backfield. Who makes a man miss? But it is not going to pick up that first down. Fourth and seven. He just gets a chunk back. Give him some room to punt. After a three and out by Dallas here, uh, it's third and four on the 36 for the Lions. It's a complete pass to Marvin Jones Jr. for the first down. Little uh, hitch route. Good pitch and catch. First and 10 on the 44-yard line. Matthew Stafford is play action pass. He goes for Marvin Jones. He catches it and breaks the tackle. He's going. He's going. All the way down past the 20-yard line. There's a flag on the play, though. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a roughing the passer. Uh, good play by Marvin Jones. Showing that strength. Showing that reception capability. The run after catch. Being just so physical. <laughs> Down at the nine-yard line. First and ten. Or first and goal, technically. Hand off to carry on who makes a man miss down at the about six yard line. Second and goal. Lions come out in empty backfield. I think the running back split out to the left. Matthew Stafford drops back. He rolls out to the right. He's just going to take it himself. And apparently he is down at the one yard line. That looks like he got into the end zone.
<clears throat> Lions third and goal from the one yard line. Come out in a three tight end set to the right. It's a play out, or it's a handoff off the middle, and he just gets swallowed whole. Nobody could block in that situation, apparently. Fourth and goal. The kick is up. And it is good. Down the middle. 13 0. It is. First and 10 with about two minutes left. Matthew Stafford hits Ricky Seals Jones, who fumbles the ball. It's picked up by Thomas. And he's immediately tackled. Bad play, but they uh, they, they go nowhere with it. It's going to be the third quarter. Sorry, that transition was a bit stupid, but going deep. And it is broken up. It's going to bring up fourth down. But yeah, that transition was kind of sloppy. Um, nothing happened at all. I think they even punted it back, and there was like 20 seconds left. Karrion Johnson takes it up the middle, who fights for extra yardage. He has 16 rushes for 74 yards and a touchdown already today. He's looking back and in action. Looking fresh. There is no injury. What injury? First and 10. Six minutes left to go in the third. The dump off is to Ricky Seals Jones, who breaks a tackle and gets hit out of bounds at the 24 yard line. But yeah, th there, nothing really went on. It's just been a punt fest most of the time. And if I don't show that, it's because like nothing good happened. Like, oh, he ran it for two yards. Oh, he ran it for no yards. Oh, he threw it for an incompletion. Like, why? I, I just don't think I should show that. Matthew Stafford drops back. He rolls out to the right. He sees nobody open. Oh, he hits Ricky Seals Jones in a little tight window. Nobody was thinking about him. The, yeah, when I don't show that, it's mainly for the reason of it's not that entertaining. Like, I get defensive stops and, like, sacks and big plays, like, you know, the Corey sack um, and some interceptions. But if it's just like a regular three and out. And it's a touchdown. Marvin Jones Jr., he was wide open on the seam route. Yeah, but if I don't show that and you, you don't like that, I'm sorry. It's just like it would make the video longer if I showed that. Like if it's the first drive, I get it, you know, rhythm and stuff. But, you know, and we're going for two here to make it a little even. And Marvin Jones Jr. finds the hole in the zone defense and gets the two-point conversion. But anyways, I apologize for it if you want to see those things. But, you know, I'd rather, you know, speed it up a little bit. You know, it's already a 17-minute video. The handoff is to Easton to the right side. Oh, he makes two-man miss. He's got the first down on one, first and 18 all the way down to the 28-yard line. Ooh, that's weird. 28 yards on the 28. That's weird. Say so you punt, you they punted it on the last two possessions, like you know. It's a hand. Oh no, it's a play action pass. He gets taken down by Jared Davis. Dak Prescott injured on the play. He was not having a good day. This defense is just suffocating him. I don't even think we had that many sacks. If I'm being honest, we might have. I know we. Never mind. I'm not even gonna spoil that. <laughs> It's a handoff up the middle to Easton, who makes two men miss. And then number 71 gets the key block on Glover Quinn to get him a few extra yards. He's still credited with his tackle. There's about almost two minutes left in the third. It is third and eight on the 27-yard line. Cooper Rush drops back. He has all day. He throws it into the end zone. And Kilbrew on the interception. He's just going to nail it. Smart play. Kill Brew on the pick. He, he's been showing out this season. He's had at least two picks. He's, you know, covering tight ends and stuff. As Matthew Stafford makes a boneheaded decision and Sean Lou picks him off. Who's taken down at the 42-yard line. What a play by Sean Lee. Just sitting there and waiting on that pick to come to him. Matthew Stafford, with which was my bonehead play. But, you know. Cooper Esch. Fourth and uh, ten, I believe. 
He throws it into the end zone, and it is wide right, just out of the reach. Uh, second and eight on the 31-yard line. Matthew Stafford drops back. He hits Ricky Seals Jones on the cross, who gets the first down and a little bit extra. Down to the 47. It's first and 10 on the 41 yard line. Matthew Stafford drops back, sees nothing. He gets hit as he's trying to throw, and it's a fumble. David Irving picks it up. Great field position for the Dallas Cowboys on this. It is third and one after the turnover. Cooper Rush and Easton in the backfield. It's a screen pass. It and it's sniffed out. I believe that was Jared Davis who sniffed out that screen pass. And broke up the pass. Wasn't even catchable. Brings up fourth and one on the 32-yard line with 10 minutes left. Cooper Rush drops back. And it's broken up. It was intended for Allen Hearns and Ken Crawley on the coverage. He said, not in this house, not today. I don't know why he's British, but, you know, after trying to run the clock out, give it back to him with about 545. And it's picked off. It's picked off by Kennard. At the 31-yard line, it is picked off. It is second and two with a minute left after trying to grind this clock out and carry on just running over everybody, not being able to go down. All the way down to the four yard, three yard line with 55 seconds left. We're just going to kneel the ball. No need to rub it in. Look at that balanced attack 225 yards passing, 207 rushing. Look at this. Without that pick, it would have been a great day uh, for Matthew Stafford. Uh, 22 or 250 yards roughly, one touchdown, one, uh, one interception, pretty bad interception. Carry on Johnson with the load, 32 carries, 154 yards, and a touchdown. Breaking out after coming back, I believe, this week. Marvin Jones, six ca catches, 80 yards, a touchdown. Anyways, uh, pause the stats if you want to see them. But this is going to be it. Uh, wait for the next episode. It's going to be a good one, too. I haven't played the game yet. But anyways, until next time, peace.